And for a lot of people, they love to go shopping. They love to find a great deal or something really unique. And they'll be able to find that this Sunday at the Ottawa Convention Center with the uh, Ottawa Vintage Clothing Show. Now, joining us, two fashion bloggers, pretty much lifestyle and beauty. Uh, she goes by Emmett for her blog, so Emmett is joining us. Uh, and also, uh, Caitlin uh, Borowski, hopefully I said that right. <laughs> yeah. uh, and uh, both of them into blogging. Are you excited about an event like this, especially when it comes to fashion, for people to find an outlet with uh, vintage clothes? Yes, I am. I love vintage, and I wear it almost every day. And uh, this is one of my favorite events. So you're wearing it almost every day. Are you are you wearing it paired like going vintage style, or you always just pair it with more of that modern look? I usually pair it with something modern. I'm a big fan of alteration. So when I go vintage shopping, I search the racks and I try to be creative. And like this jacket here, this um, was once a floor length jacket, and I had it shortened and uh, taken a little bit, so it was more of a modern shape. So you actually saw it, even though it looked a certain way at the vintage show. You yes. knew what you were going to do with it. Yes. Is it hard to do that with, with you know, um, a coat or something like this, or you can do I it with most items? I would recommend doing it yourself. It's better to have a professional do it and measure it. Um, it looks a lot sharper. So, let, so let's, we'll take yours then before, and so this was your vintage find. Yes. You took it in? I saw it, I took it in, and um, it's a really great piece. Um, it's, it's leather, and I find that it looks really great with um, leggings or skinny jeans and just like a loose blouse and lots of layers. It's a great look. It really is. Now, for you, what has been the joy for you as to heading into these vintage shows and finding these pieces? Well, I mean, it's a great opportunity to look for really nice staple items that maybe would cost you a little bit more at your regular department store. So keeping an eye out for things that you know are worth the spend, like, you know, well-crafted leather jackets or your favorite new black patent shoes, those sort of things. I always look for a, a bargain. <laughs> yeah, and are you looking for things that are right now also, like, that are in fashion right now. Like there's so many blouses yeah, right now that are. Fashion is cyclical, right? Mm -hmm. So trends of the 70s and 80s, they are back and they're in your favorite stores in the mall. So to keep an eye out for those, um, anything silk or printed is a great idea. Mm -hmm. Silk or printed if you're going shopping. <laughs> I think that's, that's going to be some of the first items picked up. What have you done here with your look? So I took a vintage dress that's actually been restructured throughout the bodice paired it with a little more modern patent skinny leather belt, a lightweight blazer, and then just a cute little leather booty to kind of make it a little more modern, a little more contemporary. And this is something you could wear to the office or after work for drinks or dinner. Okay, so this is where you guys differ from the rest of us because you saw a dress and then you knew that you wanted to build structure into mm -hmm. it. So exactly. you actually were able to see a dress fall very differently yes. and then recreate it. Yes, I mean, it helps to maybe go online and browse a little bit and get some ideas so you know what you're looking for when you arrive. But it's definitely doable. Anyone could do it. Okay, can we talk about price point? Are, you, are, are we looking at finding great deals at a great steal, or you're looking at finding some items that would probably be incredibly pricey because they have that history to them? Mm -hmm. So there's a good spectrum. Um, it's a little bit of both. Like, you can really luck out. Like, this jacket was $10. Um, are you kidding me? No. <laughs> okay, this is $10. This is $10. Awesome. So you can really luck out, but um, you can also find some vintage designer pieces um, which will be at the show this weekend um, which are a little bit more pricier but definitely worth the investment and by pricier we're not you know this was ten dollars so yes. you can find thousands of dollars <laughs> yes <laughs> there is and what about, with, what about with jewelry what are your suggestions when you when you're talking vintage jewelry I mean, you might want to inspect it a little bit further mm -hmm. than you would maybe a shirt because that's something you could easily fix a little more time and effort goes into jewelry care mm -hmm. but you know looking at the class making sure it's not overly tarnished things like that uh, but there'll be tons of jewelry Yes. You, is it fun for you to watch other people going through vintage, you know, going to these I love shows? People. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You'll people watch. Yes, definitely. Yes. Okay. It is fun because people get so excited and like everyone's out there to find a treasure and mm -hmm. to find something they love. So it's like everyone's in a really good mood and it's a good vibe. And it's funny that you say everyone's got their own treasure because this to me would have been a treasure at $10. <laughs> you were the one that saw to bring it up and to take it in and know that it's going to work for you. All right, people can find these, and are, is it fun subject to write about when you're talking fashion for your blogs? Yes. Absolutely. Well, it's original, and people want to read about original content, so. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm sure we're going to see a lot of original outfits coming out <laughs> of the vintage show, so keep that in mind. It's happening at this Sunday at the new Ottawa Convention Center. It'll run from 10 until 4. Admission is $10. But, hey, you could be walking out with a coat. That was $10, so <laughs> all seems to work out. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. Uh,